Hey, hey, what's up, my village people? How are you all doing? Good evening to you, all my darling MVPs. Welcome back to Sail with Me, Shirley Mimi, where you get a gist. As it ain't waiting, as it ain't hurt. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you still you do what well, you lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? I used to sit in on a fat long thing. Kindly post right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell because that's the only way you would get the gist brewing from the cooking pot. Guys, without wasting much time talking about the gist, a lot really did happen in Biggie's house today. And now we are gonna discuss them in details, right? Okay, we'll start off by um we discuss all about the um the wager tax. Now let's talk about after that they had the head of house challenge, right? Where the housemates had to you know memorize items under a carton then the biggie would have to distract them with a dance you know and afterwards they would have to pick an a paper inside an envelope open it and then go open and they would see an image an image sorry in that carton that they would have to go and you know open and they, the guests need to be right okay so that was how the housemates were going front and back for this particular head of first challenge it took like four four to five hours for this head of house challenge to end like it started by 2 p.m and actually it ended just like let me say to eight right like before the nominations so the housemates were going in their numbers having the nomination um sorry the um what was it called head of house challenge thingy you know okay so some of the housemates whom i would say did well i would say um um anyways we'll talk about that because biggie actually did announce it so while that was going on you know biggie actually called the housemates you know and told and told them when they have gone like more than half ways for the head of house challenge biggie had to call the housemates together in the in the arena when all the housemates have not finished participating in the head of house you know challenge and he told the housemate that they would have to look for a black envelope yes you know we've been talking about the black envelope right okay so biggie said they would have to look for a black envelope and that it has been dropped in some strategic places in the house okay and then the housemates who would find that black envelope will be immune for the worst week nomination you know so the housemates were all in a haste you know to go and start looking for the envelope you know as um biggie told them that they would have to wait for the sound of a buzzer you know before they would have to you know look for that envelope so when they went into the house um you know so people don't go ever hear what that was how um some of the housemates started searching for that envelope before the buzzer, buzzer could go on while um cross and the adequately was lamenting on that in their ears saying biggie had you have to wait for biggie first before you get to you know look start looking for that stuff but after everything biggie had to call back the housemates and to tell them that um kid wire um Tolani Badge and Princess will not be able to participate in the searching for the um black envelope. Reason because they you know front flaunt the um biggest rule where they were told not to you know start searching until the sound of the borza. Hope you're getting me. Uh -huh. So it's actually a long one, so that's I'm trying to curtail them so that you guys will just catch up with what's up that is happening in the house. So um when that happened, so Bibi now told others to wait until when they would hear the sound of the buzzer. It's not actually the normal buzzer sound, it's just kind of a funny sound. So when um the sound came on, Messi actually where she was sitting, because immediately they came into the lounge after biggie called them in the arena to tell them about the black envelope. Messi sat on a mat at the back of the lounge chair. That mat in particular, I do not know she have in mind to start making her search the first. So immediately Biggie, you know, made that um sound. Mercy raised the mat up and she saw her own black envelope first. Isn't that a lucky child? Okay. So after she did that, after she did that, then others were still looking for because Biggie told them that the envelope is more than one. Okay, that if one person have seen the envelope, you have to hold it. You are not meant to look for more than one envelope. If you have one envelope, you have to hold on on that one, you know while others keep on searching so mercy they relaxed while others were searching on you fraud and um Sheyi actually found found the same envelope fraud was actually searching on the chair you know why Sheyi came on that same chair you know and found the the envelope you get so now the problem is they were started dragging the you know the black envelope like who is who who took it first you know the thing is fraud was on that chair first but she saw that envelope first i wanted to take it before fraud now took it because where fraud was searching was not the actual place where she was searching actually the housemates have been searching in the same location all those while so it actually brought some kind of bruhaha between fraud and she which after everything 
um big year to call the housemate together and not ask the question about um the housemate who had the what is it called the ask um Sheyi and fraud about the the this thing the black envelope that who had it first you know two of them were just arguing they were like we leave it for you big brother to judge you see everything you have to tell us you know who is right or who is wrong because actually if you check it now she ye first see but fraud no gray okay so while this was going on beginner told them to sit down and not ask some um, mercy to read the content of her own envelope that of mercy said congratulations to you mercy you are immune for this week and beginner told mercy congratulations she had to sit down the housemate chair her up she danced you know and make some kind of noise then um beginner asked fraud to actually you know reveal the content of his own envelope guys guess what it says better luck next time <laughs> so now you're seeing it is giving oh something you were dragging at the points the thing called the right better luck next time it means say you know jig at all on a normal you wouldn't have even bothered yourself it, there's a difference between you got it on a merit and they wrote and they told you better luck next time you know you did not argue with anybody about it but arguing and later on you're seeing better luck next time you really know jig at all so that was how it happened so after everything the housemate letter went on continued their head of first challenge and then it was time for the nom for nominations Prior denominations, conspiracy has been going on. Do not forget, Biggie told the housemate yesterday that this season they are free to conspire against housemate they want to nominate and all that. So, Angel, um, Tolani Badge, Ile Baye, Princess and Doing actually were having conspiracy about who they will nominate, you know. As Venita took the lead, Venita and Sheyi, you know, despite um, Doing wanted Soma, but they were like, no, it's not, you know, Jig says Soma came to the house, left the house early the last season and will still live early. That Soma is not really a, this, um, is not, what's it called? A child, um, the summer is not really a competition that's the word so yeah but after everything they were like they need to you know really stick to their sisterhood blah 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 now the question is did they stick to that their that their conversation kid wire actually joined them then we'll get to see the nomination list so before the nomination process big brother had to announce the winner of the head of house challenge right as he called the housemate he mentioned summer ek um adekule alex you know, and cross as he told them that they were the best housemate who did well on the head of house challenge. And at the same time, there can only be one winner, you know, and that one winner actually got 12 seconds. So everybody was like clamoring for Crocs, hey, hey, and big brother called Adekule, that he was the head of house guys. Come and see shock. And that one thing I love about Adekule, that boy, he, he's really good with tasks. I do not know, before he went for that thing, I knew he would do well on that um head of house game. So that was how Adekule became the head of house you know and biggie asked him to choose his bff so this season there are four bff the head of house will have to choose four guys four housemates whom is your f and bff means best friend for the week that's what he means for the week so adekulina made his choice he may chose sheyi so he chose soma first followed by sheyi followed by cross and then gave to fraud and said fraud need to you know settle their beef with um sheyi that was the four bff of our decolle this week then before the you know nomination now resume but let's see how the housemate nominated then we'll tend to discuss on those nominations accordingly and we'll see if those people who conspired if they kept to their words now this is how the nomination went on new nominated white money then angel sheyi or angel kept to house because they chose sheyi and venita thinking they will be nominating two housemates but it ended up being one housemate and then Pere nominated prince um princess nominated venita and um, princess actually kept to her words from the conversation they had in their clique white money nominated ile baye ile baye nominated tolani badge now one person betrayed the clique ile baye did how and she was keeping mute all the while that conversation was going on and princess was like she is not cool with ile baye keeping this mute okay it's giving she's not among them ile baye was like she does not have much to talk now blah 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 and now she actually did another thing in the diary um room are we gonna see another betrayal let's go okay sheyi said princess mercy said Pere. people have been coming for mercy because of this Pere nomination they said mercy nominated Pere because of her friend maria blah 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 i do not think so anyways cross nominated doi tolani bad nominated venita as you can see the tolani bad also kept to her own words mercy okay doi nominated venita she also kept to her own word so ma nominated venita 
Alex nominated EK, Venita nominated Ile Baye, Kid Wire nominated Ile Baye. Now, Venita, I know if Ile Baye would know that Nelis and Venita would nominate her, she would have nominated her back. Okay, Uriel nominated Doi, Fraud nominated Princess, and CC nominated Sheyi. Adekule was the last person to go um, to the head of house room as the head of house he is. Sorry, to the diary room. And Biggie made a uh, discuss a secret with Adekule. Biggie said um, to them um, that the uh, um, nomination process, everything, no housemate is going on Sunday, that everything is just free, okay? That Adekule should keep this as a secret, okay? When um, he get out of the house, I should not, you know, let any of, reveal it to any of the housemates, including his BFFs. So that was his own deal with Biggie. No nomination. This week, housemates are so free this week, but the housemates do not know about this deal until, you know, when um, she, um, Adekule left the head of house, sorry, the diary room, and then went to the house, my brother addressed the housemaid, mentioned Adekule's name, Cross, e, um, Soma, uh, that's the BFFs, you know, and tell uh, them, them that them and Adekule are the only people saved this week, that others should wait till Sunday. So that was how the BFFs, they started kissing Adekule, hugging him, and doing all sort of that. Adekule was just feeling special. They do not know that the eviction, the nomination process is actually fake, you know. So that was how it went down through doing the nomination process. Now let's see what some of the natives are saying on the social space, consigning how everything went down in Biggie's house. Tonight, Ebuka Obiu Chendu said, So, Princess was right about Ile Baye being quiet during their conspiracy meeting. And then, expensive Brandy said, Does that's their conspiracy that their conspiracy conspiracy squad no jig you know go work let the games begin like guys the games has literally begin if you're not watching this big brother or stars you're really on a long long thing and if you are not actually following this page right now this channel that means you're just sitting on a fat long thing all right coming from bb niger or stars waste of black envelope waste of head of house waste of issue between sheyi and fraud no eviction this sunday i am telling you drama just happened for nothing how would this house may feel that all these things that ensued today that there is nothing like eviction or Sunday? It is quite, you know, it's giving. And do you know where it is? The worst, do you know the worst thing? The worst thing is on Monday, Adekule would want to, you know, when the next head of house challenge, where there will be real nomination, Adekule will not be able to participate as the previous head of house and then the real nomination will ensue. So what will not happen? All right. Adekule was not strategic on picking BFF. All these ones cannot help you stay in the house. He should have picked CC or Mercy. Dripping Caramel said they can pay him. They can pay him forward by not nominating him at some point. He made the right decision. Guys, you think Adekunle did not make the right decision? Why do you think he needed to save um, CC or or what was it called? Um, Mercy. Let me tell you guys one thing. The people he actually picked are the people that are even doing well on in tax. So I think pick them whenever they do well in tax, so they will save him. Mercy and Sissy only have their fans, and their fans might decide not to vote them when they are up. So what are you saying? Now, so my happy part says Ebuka, my guy, no go like Komot House for first week this season again. You were uh, Ebuka is really, really decent on this house, mate. <laughs> I'm telling you, Soma is really happy. Even as I am talking to you guys, Soma is literally crying. He is quite an emotional person, like the guy is too emotional. During their season when he left the house, he was even crying on stage. But it is what it is. Um, coming from Chimeme, the nomination list is being topped by Venita and Ilebai. Yes, that of Venita because there was a conspiracy corner. But that of Ilebai, I do not know why. Maybe people do not like she was all over the place. And I think that was what brought her out. Okay. Bad boy Dex, my HOH. -H. Let's go, baby boy. Guys, I'm so proud of this boy. Wallahi. First HOH -H of the freaking season. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are so, so proud of Adekule. I already saw. See, he was one of the best people that they could bring in terms of being strategically wise. Like, in terms of playing the game, in terms of tax and everything. I knew he's going to be doing well in that aspect. Okay, it seems like Big Brother has a soft spot for Adekule. That is what some of the netizens are carrying on the social space. That the way Big Brother talks to Adekule, the way he addresses him, blah, blah, blah. But guys, I don't know. Okay? So I just brought in summary, in, in a burst way. That this is the best way I can curtail this order happens, okay, before now in Big Brother's house. Okay? So guys, I'm leaving the rest for you guys to talk in the comment section. I'm very sure some of you all watched this. Okay? What is it that is missing? What do you think about all of this? Let's talk in the comment section. And what do you think about the conspiracy corner? Babe, let's just... Let's just... 
let's talk guys because it is giving a lot and more i'll see you guys in the comment section babies thank you so much for watching i love you and i hope you love me too bye for now guys